your sheets. Down to Trinidad to see Sally Brown, boys. Go, boys, go, boys, go. Down to Trinidad to see Sally Brown. Lovely on the floor, yeah, she's lovely down below, boys. Go, boys, go, boys, go. She's lovely because she loves me, that's all I want to know. Baker, how do you store your cargo? Go, boys, go, boys, go. Some I stole forward and some I stole. Fire! Fire! On your mark, Captain! Fire! 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 You are 
through the box! Ship coming after us, sir! Tata! Spanish Enzoi! All in the stunts! Close the mains! Muzzle them! Clues down! Catch some wind! We're bound to the ship! Fire! Ready to fire! Catch them, sir! Give me some speed! Hell off and loose the hey, coming for you! Don't get it bad! We're all but kindling, Captain! All sail! She'll take it! More sail! Give me more sail! Italia, eh? Stinks the same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You falling in love? <laughs> With your blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? We was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you've cultivated? Eh? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? What brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself is fixing to receive a mess of gold from a nearby fort. Until then, it's just sitting there, itching to be took. Governor Torres himself, eh? Sounds promising. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Uh, uh. Uh, now, uh, where can a man find a bit rough? Do you know what I mean? today.
recruits to follow your endeavors. Travers? What tide brings you? You dress the part of an assassin, yet I don't know your face. Name's Kenway. I'm here to warn you of a threat to your bureau. Yes, I have noticed some suspicious men lurking about. I believe they work for a noted Templar called uh, Upton. Could you eliminate him for me? Oh, I may be persuaded. For a price. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a Templar key, would you? I'm sure you may find it among Upton's men. If I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. I am Upton Travers, Bureau Leader. 
What? Is Vance your... My blood brother. We work together. And those were not Templars that you killed. They were my workers. Don't blame me. Your brother ordered it. Does he mean to usurp me? I don't know, mate. I'm only after a Templar key. A what? Please. I need for you to tell me everything. And why should I trust you? Meet me at the Bureau, and I will show you. Oh, bother. My lovesick idiot of a brother has misled you. Oh, start from the start, mate. Recently, our trade introduced us to a formidable woman. Jing Lang, a pirate from the farther seas of the Orient. Intriguing. She and Vance quickly became inseparable. Any reason he should have thought your men were spies? Well, there is the treasure. Oh? A pirate sold us a map. We each kept half. Come. I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. There are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. Hide there. Follow me when Vance arrives. Good day, brother. If I may still call you that. Why? What else would you call me? Stranger, perhaps? I barely know you anymore. And if the whispers around town are to be believed, you would have me gone and done away with me. Upton, come on. You know better than to give it to gossip. Nests always too small. Lots of tongues turn everything to sentimental comedy. It's domestic tragedy I'm trying to avoid. Well said, brother. No stronger bonds than family, except business. Goodness knows we have more than enough of that between us as well. That is true, brother. That is very true. And what a business it is. I'm sure neither of us would ever do anything to upset the balance of things. Quite. Why? Now tell me. Gordon. Can you not imagine the luxurious life that awaits us once we unearth its bounty? I really don't think it's the Travers estate and plantations. No more smuggling. No more organizing men. No shipments. No risk. Why not begin now? Man, are you sure your future will unfold so easily? What do you mean? What do you imply? I am not implying. I am merely asking. Do you really imagine Jing as the lady of the house? Mr. Sir, Bruce, Mother? Or should I not imagine? Do you question her love, her fitness? Of course not. But knowing her as you do, you must appreciate that she is a woman of action. She needs to see, challenge. How will she adapt to a quiet domestic life? 
ring is none of your concern. Vance, do you intend to marry her? Of course. It pains me to tell you, but I do not believe she will consent to it. Oh. What gives you such insight into her heart? In addition to her passion, I simply do not believe she is exactly what she says she is. You're jealous. Jealous? No. Yes! I only worry for your safety. You always had to be the favorite child, the golden boy. I can't stand it that you would give her heart to me, but she can't even give you a second glance. Hater! I have no hate. Only concern. I'll tell you this. I will marry her. I must. I will have your heart for the battle. Let the world see his brother has more honor than you today. Hey, Vance, what are you doing? Not man enough to see it through. My flower is all but done. I've hired a man. In moments, Upton's life will be over, and the map will be ours. You hired a man? In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel, and he did it himself. He did not require a third man to carry the axe. He did not have so many witnesses as we do in Nassau. Trust me, he's doing it now. Right this moment? Nothing can save him now. I just saved your life, mate. Pants. He said he would kill me. I thought it was bluster. He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. You're safe for now. But perhaps a trip away from Nassau would do you some good. Master Kenway.
A pleasure. Vraiment. God, man, what's happened to you? I cannot go on anymore. My brother? A traitor? That woman? Templar? I have no family. No wife of my own. What is the point of living? Hmm? Let them kill me! You don't know what you're saying, mate. Let's get you someplace safe. What's the point? The point is, I want my key. So I need you alive. I need your information, so I need you sober. You... You... are my best friend. Come here, I'll kill you! What are you looking at? Hey, hey. You there with a sour face. What was that you said about my mom? I said she's a lovely woman, inside and out. Oh, and who was you? I thought everyone knew. That's right, I said it. Alfred. That... I don't feel so good. The church, though. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy... Mate, the Father, the Son, and the Holy... What's the third one again? Let's just keep it moving, yeah? The Father, the Son, and the... Let's keep it moving? No, that's not it. What does it matter? <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Nothing in this sour life does. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. I can lead you up the Come road. on. Do you want to tell No, I'll give you a thing. Who are these creatures? <laughs> That's no way to flatter a lady. They all look like that. Are they muses or furies? I can't tell. Work with me, mate. Abdon, mate, no. Guards. There are guards nearby. Piss off! They won't stand for this. I said piss off! Oh, I need a piss. Oh, 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 that's much better. Stop that! What? Why won't no one let me so much as take a piss? Put it away! I'm like a child. Oi, this is sacred ground. I'll teach you to urinate. <laughs> I don't want to be like a child, ever. It's all right, mate. Help me not be like a child. You just need the drink to wear off. Are you safe here? Safety is an illusion. 
But yes, I have friends here I can hide. Good. What you must think of me. Have I said anything embarrassing? No, mate. You sound quite the scholar. Betrayal makes one philosophical, don't it? Imagine a Templar, my brother, to marry a Templar. I doubt it'll come to that. I'm so afraid for him. But well, please help keep him safe. Sober up, mate. We'll finish this in the morning. You're a forever friend, Kenway. Hmm.